Hi, everybody. How are you? I cannot believe it is June already. And it is time for the Gina Aaron's Design Team Project for the month of June. I, I'm just I'm just so blown away at how fast this year has gone. Anyway, um, let's get right to it. Um, the three creative words that Gina put out for the month of June was um, batch, type, and variety. So I was really kind of struggling with these words, these creative words, and Gina has always said to us, you know, they're just a guide. They're just, um, they're just to prompt an idea, to spark an idea. We don't need to particularly use them. Um, if our creative brains decide to go this way instead of that way, um, she's good with that. But I had an idea come to mind um, while I was sitting here at my desk. And I was chatting with a friend of mine, um, Cindy Utter, because I'm getting ready to go on vacation. And I'm taking a small art bag with me. And, um, you know, I just, I like my stamps, you know, so I wanted to take stamps with me, um, wanted to take some of Gina's stamps with me on vacation. And she was like, you don't want to do that. You really don't want to take something like that on the plane to the beach or wherever, um, your bag could get lost. You know, it's a huge investment and you you don't want to lose your stamps. Um, you know, what if something happens? And I'm like, man, she's right. She's right. She's right. She's right. She was like, um, Hey girlfriend, pull out, you know, your tissue paper. Well, you know, that's a moment where you kind of, you know, do a palm plant, you know, in your forehead, like, duh, <laughs> I've been stamping on tissue for years. And tissue doesn't weigh hardly anything. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to be working in my journal um, this month. So let's set that aside. And let's get out my stamping pad. And I think I have shown this to you before. It's just a piece of wood that... Um, I repurposed on this side. I can cut and heat emboss on this side. I can stamp. And as you can see, it's well loved. So let's get to it. Shall we? I am just going to take a very large piece of tissue. Now I want to look at it because I want to see which side one side is smoother than the other. Okay. So this side is smoother. This side is a little more rough. And because it's a little more rough, I think it's going to be a little bit more accepting of the, of the ink. So I'm going to be using my black stays on ink and I will put a link in the description box to where you can purchase this over on Amazon because I've noticed a lot of stores do not always necessarily carry the stays on. I don't know why it's a, it's a very popular permanent ink. And that's the other thing too. You want to make sure that you're using a permanent ink because you don't know what other mediums you're going to be using over this. So if you're going to be using, you know, something that's water soluble, um, you don't want to be using, you know, inks that are going to run. Okay. This stamp collection right here is stamp collection one. There it is. See, there you go. And I'm just going to take, I'm leaving the, I'm leaving it right on the plastic. And I'm just going to ink these up really good. And I am, ooh, I got some on the 
tissue. That's all right. I am so looking forward to vacation. I'm anxious to, well, I'm not anxious to get on a plane. That's never something for me that's necessarily fun, but I do enjoy the beach. And that is where I'm going. I'm going to the beach. All right, so now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to turn it over, lay it down, and press. I want to make sure that it gets a really good impression. And I've shown you the trick in my other videos um, on how I take my stamp, how I get my stamp, stamped images off of here by using a water pen. All right, let's pull this up and see what we have. Oh yeah. Yep. Let's see, set that there because I want to do it again. Actually, I'm probably gonna stamp this quite a few times as I'm knocking stuff over in front of me, sorry. So again, I'm just going to do the same process. Let's stamp these up, ink these up, sorry. And I keep dropping this on my tissue. I know I should do it on another surface, but you know, that would mean I'd have to move something. Now, these designs of Gina's are absolutely gorgeous. And I really love stamping on tissue. Um, if you'll remember when I did the collaboration video for the Custom Keeper, um, the Gina's whole design team did it, um, I think it was it last month? It was, you know, time slipping past me so quickly. I'm starting to feel old. <laughs> but we did it last month where we decorated the covers. Um, I used tissue on that, if you'll remember. And I'm just going to do the same thing. And as a matter of fact, what I think I'm going to do is... At this point, I've got two of the entire um, collection already done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my butterfly. I'm going to ink it up. And, you know, I like to take the ink to the stamp instead of the stamp to the ink because this way I can make sure that it's good and coated. And then I'm just going to start stamping some butterflies because I'm going to be using this, um, using these on a journal. I'm going to do a travel journal while I'm gone. And I'm sure I'm going to want to put some images into my journal. So, and you know me, girls, I'm, you know what? I'm a butterfly fanatic. You guys know that by now. If you don't know that about me by now, you're going to know it now. I love butterflies. You can probably look at just about every single piece of my artwork and if you can't see it, it'll be hidden. But there's always, always, always a butterfly on all of my artwork. All right, I'm going to go through and I'm going to finish stamping. And um, the other stamp 
that uh, stamp set that I'm going to use is her collection two. Collection two from Gina. Sorry for the glare. But I'm also, see that's got a really cool butterfly on it too. So I'm going to just go through and get some stamping done on this. And I'll be back when I'm finished because I know this is so exciting for you. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with my inky hands, and I have had quite <clears throat> the stamping afternoon. <laughs> I have gotten one, two, three, four, five, six sheets of tissue paper completely stamped, and I got to use all of Gina's stamp sets that I own. So I didn't use just these two. I used the other three, I think I have. Three, four. So I used all of my stamp sets and got it on all of these tissues so that I can take them with me down to Florida. I used my stays on. They're all good and dry. They're much easier to travel with and lighter. And I wanted to show you, um, oh gosh, look at these. These are my favorite. I could not wait to get these little birds. Let, are they not just the cutest things ever? <laughs> I love them. Um, I wanted to show you this. This is the custom keeper that Gina's design team, um, we did a collaboration with Shannon Green, and this was the one that I designed, the outside. Um, we're going to be doing more with, our, with these custom keepers, but I just wanted to show you all of this is tissue. First of all, the, the coloring on here is tissue that I glued down, but then all of these, all of this is all stamped on tissue and then glued down with matte medium. You can't even tell. You can't tell. When you're working with a surface that isn't completely um, flat, this is awesome. This is awesome. This was the tissue that I used on this was from a dress pattern because I thought the color of it would give it a great um, antique kind of look. But isn't that awesome? And I did do the inside too, but just I just kind of marked on it. I didn't really do a lot of designing on it because I think I'm going to be doing some more to it. I'm not sure what yet or what I'm going to do with it. But I'm going to leave a link below for um, Shannon's Etsy shop. She also, not only does she have these in many different sizes and shapes, if you see something there you don't like at her Etsy shop or that you don't, you're not seeing what you need, drop her a line um, and she will be happy to, you know, cut a custom keeper to a custom size. I mean, you might have to pay a little bit more for it um, because it's custom, but she's always happy to do that. Um, she has quite the little business going there with these custom keepers, and they're just fabulous. So um, this is what tissue looks like when you put it down on a surface. And um, so please give it a try, you know. I had so much fun using Gina stamps. Um, it made it, it's going to make it really easy for me to travel with them down to Florida. And, um, so until I see you in July for Gina's design team, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm going to have other videos up with my other design teams that I designed for, but have a great day. Have a great week. Welcome to summer. And please, uh, be sure to check, um, in the description below 
all the links to the other design team members uh, videos that are going live today as well. Um, and most important, be nice. I've noticed a lot of people out there not being nice right now, and it's really frustrating me. It's all I can do to bite my lip and keep my mouth shut. Um, I'm really struggling with it because I just see a lot of very hateful, nasty things being said lately, and we we need some positivity in this world, and you can either be part of the problem or part of the solution. It's up to you. But be nice. It's really not that difficult. Be part of the solution. Have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.